Assalamualaikum and hi everyone, we are from group 14. In this video, we are talking about Citarum River and relate with environmental, economic and property rights. Now, let's see how the Citarum River looks. Tarum River The longest and the largest river in the West Java, Indonesia. Okay, let's see what happened to Citarum River from interview in DW documentary. First interview, Rudy. Second interview, Noor. The interview Denny. Now let's see who is involved in this situation. First, the textile factory along the Kitarum River. Second, the subcontractor of the textile industry. Next, let's see who is impacted by this situation. First, Citarum and its resident. Second, the owner of a rice plant or farmer near a factory village surrounded by a textile factory. The resulting finding in Citarum, Indonesia by international scientists. Overall, we can see there are many chemical substances found in the sample from the Citarum River rice and hair sample, and it is very dangerous. Now, using concept of property rights and environmental system, what we have learned in lecture 1 and lecture 2. In the video lecture 1, we have learned an environmental system and economic system. What is environmental system, economic system, and natural resources? In this figure, we can see there is connection between both environment and economic system. Now, let's stop the video and read together. Following that, I have drawn the condition of Hitarum River uh, in this picture. For the video lecture 2, we have learned property rights. Next, we will discuss what should be done by the Indonesian government and pivotal actor in this area. First, we will discuss the latest way taken by the Indonesian government to revitalize Shitarum River. First, a seven-year river revitalization effort launched by the Indonesian government. Second, proper idea to promote the Citarum Harum and the Citarum Satuan Tugas. Third, one ambitious plan designed by the Ministry of National Development Planning. Net recommended action for Indonesian government. 
how Indonesian government should solve them first uh, uh, monitoring environmental report submitted by tech industry second Indonesia's industrial water management system should be improved third factory waste disposal should be strictly regulated by the government for conduct awareness campaign Net pivoted at tell in this area. What NGO and private sector can do? First, do the demonstration in front of the government. Second, uh, raise awareness about the tech sector. The best example from the DW documentary. Third, they can report suspicious things to the appropriate party. Taken from individual perspectives, one must be responsible and should deepen their knowledge in order to gain awareness.